Good morning. Today is April 17th, and welcome to another edition of Wise Words from Waldo. I do really hope these devotionals are an encouragement to you during these times. Psalm 37 begins, Do not fret. The word fret means to gnaw or eat away at. I love the outdoors. I used to hike a lot. Growing up in Michigan, in college in Virginia, here in Florida, and I've hiked out west. I love to find a lake, a river, hike around it, and maybe even stop and fish. One of the sights that have always intrigued me on my hikes were beaver dams. You kind of hike through an area and you see that pile of trees and branches and saplings in the pond or the river or the lake, and then you look around and you find all of those trees that have been gnawed on by beavers. Some, they've just started. There's just a slight ring around the base. Others, the bark's missing because they've been working on it. Some of them have fallen and are laying there on the side. They've been gnawed all the way through. You know, worries like that. You know the way some Christians worry? You might think it's a spiritual gift or something. Verse 1 says, do not fret. But in verses 3 and following, we have some positive substitutes given to us. In verse 3 he says, trust in the Lord. Instead of seeing my circumstances, I'm going to look for the Creator. In verse 4, he says, delight in the Lord. Instead of imagining what God is not going to do, I'm going to remember what God has done. Verse 5 says, commit your way to the Lord. That basically means agree with what God says and then do what God says. I've preached sermons on those three verses. Trust, delight, and commit. But there's actually a fourth point. In verse 7 it says, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. I don't know about you, but I can't rest when I'm worrying. And if you can't rest, you can't sleep. I once heard of a man who'd been crippled many years ago by polio, but he always seemed to have a big smile on his face. When asked about it, he would always reply, It affected my legs, not my heart. Like a beaver gnaws on a sapling, worry will gnaw at our hearts. Trust in the Lord. Find joy. Commit to the Lord. And then rest. Now, stop and think about that.